How do you think your children or grandchildren will remember you? My wife is remembered for her houseplants. My grandma was famous for her cherry pie, and my dad was best known as a pilot. But as you can imagine, they were much more than an English ivy or a flaky pie crust or a flight instructor. <laughs> like most seniors, they longed to share with their loved ones what Jesus calls the treasures of the heart. But that isn't easy, especially in today's world. Today, what is supposed to be heartfelt emotions are often communicated by abbreviated texts and some bizarre emojis. Worse than that, some families are alienated because of disagreements or resentment or divorce. Many families, like mine, are simply separated by miles. So, how can we share with those we love the treasures of our heart? Well, my dad figured out a way. He wrote stories about decisions he made, places he visited, people he met, and lessons he learned. He wrote about his faith in God and love of family and hope for eternity. You see, Dad knew everyone loves a good story. He was right. Stories penetrate the mind. They touch the heart. They're the best way to express who you are, how you lived, and what you hope for your children. Now, you too can write stories about your life, but you might want a little inspiration and help. So I invite you to consider Legacy Story Course. This course is a map to your buried treasure, your legacy of love. And remember, love never dies. Neither should your stories. <laughs>